Welcome to this week's edition of Seahawks Central News. I'm Kristen Dre. And I'm Corinne Sponsler. This week we'll be taking a look at a professor featured in a History Channel documentary. Along with UNCW Halloween events and an interview with the co-chair of Real Teal X Film Festival. Stay tuned because Seahawks Central News starts right now. The History Channel's documentary, Roanoke Search for the Lost Colony, featured UNCW professor and author David LeVere on Monday, October 26th. LeVere spoke on his discoveries in his 2011 book, The Lost Rocks, The Dare Stones, and the Unsolved Mysteries of Sir Walter Raleigh's Lost Colony. LeVere believes that the settlers traveled south after surviving an Indian attack. Expert stonemasons Jim and Bill Vieria and maverick archaeologist Fred Willard also investigate the Roanoke mystery in the documentary. An applied learning and resume workshop occurs Wednesday, November 4th in McNeil Hall, room 1051. Students will be personally instructed on how to include special skills gained in classes, internships, study abroad experiences, and extracurricular activities into their resumes. ETL, the Career Center, and Lambda Pi Eta, UNCW's Communication Studies National Honor Society, sponsored the event. With Halloween being this Saturday, students have been preparing for a spooking all week. On Sunday, October 25th, UNCW's Tri House hosted the 13th annual Haunted Hallways Curse of Cornerstone. Students dressed in costumes as well as decorated Cornerstone Hall in order to have a haunted tour. Also showcased at the event were several short student films that took place in the Haunted Residence Building. Office of Student Leadership and Engagement hosted the 17th annual Halloween Carnival for children on Wednesday, October 28th at the Trask Coliseum. Local children visited the carnival for treats and games presented by UNCW students, organizations, and groups, as well as individual volunteers. Visitors and participants dressed in their Halloween attires. UNCW hosts a mindfulness meditation workshop Saturday, November 7th, geared towards veterans, service members, and spouses. Officials offer information and instruction on meditation that decreases stress. The event functions as part of the Invisible Wounds of War project that begins with a new Randall Library exhibit showcasing photography and writing by veterans on Thursday, November 5th. The project focuses on the physiological, spiritual, and moral in injuries received from war. Earlier today, our reporter Laura Delabadia sat down with the co-chair of Flickr Film Society's Real Teal X Film Festival, Sean Frobe and Nick Watson, to discuss the event. Welcome, I'm Laura Delabadia. Today I have the pleasure of talking with Sean Frobe and Nick Watson, the co-chairs for Flickr Film Society's Real Teal X Film Festival. Nick and Sean, as the co-chairs of the festival, can you tell me what it is? Well, Real Teal is a student-run film festival here on campus. So it's, um, we're an international film festival, so we're taking films from all over the world, and we're displaying them here for the people in Wilmington, not just students, so they can see great international films for free. These films you're taking from, where are they coming from? Well, they're coming from all over. Yeah, um, we get submissions from pretty much like every country out there, like from like India, obviously, they're pretty film heavy. Um, everywhere in the U.S., uh, North America, South I've America. I've been getting a lot. I've been getting a lot of films from Turkey, specifically. <laughs> I don't know why, mm. but Turkey's big in film. Um, a lot of French films come in, um, and of course, films from all over the United States too. Say, I wanted to submit a film. How would I go about that? Well, if you want to submit a film to us, you go to filmfreeway.com slash festival slash real teal. And then, oh, well, obviously you have to register an account with Film Freeway, but that's super simple. Then you just submit your film to, um, you submit your film into what category you want to submit it to. Uh, usually you send us either a Vimeo or YouTube link. Those are the ones we'll accept. If you try and send us a Google Drive, like, look in our Dropbox to see my film. We're probably not going to, that's probably, for the security of our members' computers, we won't accept those. So we need like a Vimeo link or some kind of it plays in a player on Film Freeway, but that's super easy to do. Yeah, and as long as it's 15 minutes or under, we accept it. Like, it can't be 1501, it has to be 15 or under. That's just, like, it just fits the format of our festival. Um, it'd be too time consuming to do, like, anything over 15. So we try to give as much variety as possible from, like, every, like, we try to get, like, diversity in our festival. So we try to accept as many films as we can within our uh, time frame of our program. So 15 is about our max. So. Besides being under 15 minutes, are there any other criteria for submissions? Um, well, we have some things. If you're a foreign language film, we generally do require that it has English subtitles just for exhibition purposes. Um, 
And of course, there's some content stuff. Since we have to display it on campus and we don't have any restrictions of who can come, we don't have like a um, rating from the Motion Picture Association, whatever it's called. So we generally try to accept things that are a bit more friendly for all audiences. So like no excessive violence, no excessive swearing. Quentin Tarantino probably couldn't send us a film as much as that breaks my heart. Um, so yeah, like as long as it's not excessively violent, excessively has excessive language, um, excessive nudity, that kind of stuff. So as long as it'd be comfortable to play in Lumina, we can accept it. Once you get the submissions, how do you decide which ones to show in the festival? Uh, well, we do it. Um, Real Teal isn't just us. Um, Real Teal is run by a huge committee of people. And what we do is we have them judge films. We'll assign them 25 films a week to look at. And then they go through and they judge it. They say whether or not they think it should go in the festival. And then they give it like a numerical rating, 1 to 10. Um, and we'll, we'll take usually, usually to get into the festival, you need to be around like an 8. So we're picking really good films to go in our festival. Do you have any dates or deadlines picked out already? Um, yeah, OK, so. The end of our submission window for everyone around the world except for local is November 29th. And local, since we're trying to endorse local and get more local submissions, we've extended that to New Year's Eve. So people can work on their films over Christmas break and then get them into us. And we'll have a lot more local films than hopefully we usually have had at Real Teal. So. Do you guys have any final words? Hmm. Uh, I'd like to just thank uh, Flickr Film Society, um, Till TV for letting us come here and advertise, and uh, Ace especially for helping us co-sponsor Real Teal, and anybody else that's helped Real Teal out throughout the 10 years we've been around. Just thank you, and I really appreciate it. So. Thank you, Nick and Sean. Thank you for having us. Thank you for tuning in. The Real Teal X Film Festival will be held on Saturday, January 23rd at 7 p.m. in UNCW's Lumina Theater. Film submissions remain open until November 29th for participants outside the local area. Contestants who are local can submit their films until New Year's Eve. Again, I'm Laura Delabadia. Good night. The Cameron School of Business and the Beck Foundation host Entrepreneurship Week, running from Monday, November 2nd to Friday, November 6th. The week moves forward with the purpose of enlightening young entrepreneurs with events including seminars, keynote presentations, a luncheon, and more. All, ev all events are free and open to all UNCW students, but seating is limited. For more information and to pre-register for events, visit cbs.uncw.edu slash eWeek. The Pre-Law Society and the Pre-Professional Program presents Law School Day on Monday, November 2nd in the Bernie Center. Representatives from law schools throughout the country will visit students and answer any specific questions about their programs. A panel will also be held where representatives discuss application procedures, getting into law school, and how to prepare as an undergraduate student, and more. For our weekly student spotlight, Anne McClellan submitted this photo of a cloudy day in the South Harbor Marina in Southport, North Carolina. McClellan titled it, Two Worlds Collide. You can be our eyes and ears on campus in the Port City area. Send us any bits of information you would like for us to report or investigate on, as well as submitting your photos and quotes all to TealTVNews at gmail.com. The time comes once again for us to sign off this week's episode of Seahawk Central News. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Corinne Sponsler. And I'm Kristen Dre. Have a great Halloween weekend, and as always, continue soaring high, Seahawks.